Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. It's the 15th of January, 2020. I, I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of saying it's a new decade. <laughs> I feel like I'm on repeat. Okay. So today, let's see, where did we, what did we do yesterday? Well, that's the one we did yesterday. So today is this child is wanted and welcomed and deeply loved. So we all have a, a child inside of us, you know, or most of us do. I would say that most of us can remember when we were a little kiddo and that one thing that gave us joy, that toy, or uh, remembering playing with our friends and the stories we would play. Um, every child we we all have those memories so we're all a little bit of a child inside ourselves and and the other thing from a spiritual perspective is children are so much closer to home they're so much closer to the other side so you have children that will tell you things and you go how did you know that and they go mm, i don't know <laughs> because they're just they're not worried about the, all the things that we're worried about that they're, they're not worried about bills being paid and a roof over our head and getting to work and they're not worried about those things children are completely carefree until they learn to not be carefree you know it it, it depends on what happens but if you have um, family friction and arguments in the family the the child within yourself may feel unwelcome or disturbed or not safe and those things linger for years and years and years in your psyche and it can cause the inner child of you, when something comes up that triggers it, you have those feelings all over again. Fear, anxiety, unworthiness, um, lack of love. Um, I know that, you know, I had my own childhood traumas that happened. So the affirmation today, this child, the child of yourself, is wanted and welcomed and deeply loved. You have to love yourself. It's important. It's important to love yourself to be able to find that peace within yourself. You know, we are spiritual creatures living in a physical body. And each one of us has to find their own path and their own spirituality within that life that we're living in this manifestation, this physical life, this, this one that we can touch, feel, taste, hear, smell, and see. Okay. So the spiritual part of ourselves can't all be contained in this body. There's the rest of us is on the other side. Uh, what I like to say is back home. The rest of us is, is home where <coughs> it doesn't hurt. <laughs> and so we have to sit with what we have and find that loving grace and that place of peace within ourselves so that we can strengthen our energetic shields in this life and be there for other people and find that community and that place of peace and that connection. And for each person, it's a little bit different. And some people's connection is through church and some people's through connection is through community volunteerism. Some people's connection is service. I mean, there are hundreds of different ways, thousands and millions of different ways of doing something. For as many people as there is on earth, there's a different way of connecting and making that connection with your fellow human being. But loving your inner child and telling your inner child that you were wanted, you are wanted, the world wants you, you're here for a reason. You are welcomed, the world needs you, you're here for a reason. Even if you don't understand what that reason is, you don't have to understand it to know that it's there. And you are deeply loved. There are people in your sphere that deeply love you and care about you and you have made an impact. And I know I struggle with this. I always feel like I'm the alien in the room. Like, am I really wanted? Does it matter that I'm even here? 
Um, and I struggle with that every day. I, I am in circumstances where I go, I don't even know if, if I disappeared today, if anybody would notice. Those are legitimate fears and those are legitimate thoughts that I have. And I struggle with those. It doesn't mean I'm not a spiritual person. It doesn't mean I'm not striving to acknowledge that I am loved and I'm striving to acknowledge that I am welcomed and I am wanted. But since I was a little tiny kid, I've had those feelings of if I disappeared tomorrow, would, even, would anybody even notice? That's always been my wonder. <laughs> um, when I was little, when I was a teenager, not when I was little, but when I was a teenager, it really upset me. And so I totally get that if, if that's something that you're struggling with. I've, I've been there. I still do every day struggle with that. So this is a good affirmation for me, especially this child is wanted and welcomed and deeply loved. I wish you a blessed day. It is frigidly cold outside. Um, I hope you stay warm. Take care of yourself. And I will see you tomorrow in morning prayer. Blessed be.